but that whole buying just for Airbnb was BS I live in a Kelowna BC and because so many properties were just for Airbnb it made finding rent harder and it drove up rental prices when you did find a place yeah and here's the kicker all this Airbnb gig economy gig rental gig housing it destroys a city it destroys the community because what happens is during the peak seasons people rent out the place right uh, but during the down season the place is not rented out so just imagine you're a store in a town that is selling something whatever it might be right during the peak season you're really busy during the low season nobody's coming to your store but you still have to pay rent a lot of places like restaurants can't afford that so they go bankrupt or they close their doors and move on right so what happens is you got a community you got a city you got a town Airbnb stuff is not a bad idea but there's got to be limitations on it okay and air all these and there's a huge problem with property values anyway I mean that's just one of the issues okay pawn avoid cities if planning a purchase indeed cities will hemorrhage uh, occupants in coming years as banking class move to home work and uh, homework and cities become cesspit of low-grade work land and ability to cultivate it will be uh, the future for people I grew up in London um, I I let 10 years I left 10 years ago and watched the decline will never go back not even for a visit yeah I agree with pond the big cities are gonna be gutted right now what's going on in terms of cities about 10 years ago a little bit longer corporations and stuff thought it was a great idea to start building private cities right so some of these corporations there were two test areas they were doing one of them was in Asia the other one was in uh, Latin America um, where was it Uruguay they did it or Honduras Honduras I think they did it they were trying to build they bought this land and there's people living there they want to build a private city the shit at the fan people were like what the hell are you talking about private city with their own laws their own everything so it didn't fly over well right the billionaires thought it was a great idea the people went what right so that plan sort of got ditched but what's going on now those billionaires don't give up right those who want to rule the world right what they've ended up doing is now they're trying to build strong cities this getting into politics a little bit we're not going to go too deep in it but strong cities is basically a certain class of the oligarch technocratic society uh, people in their societies taking over a city making smart cities strong cities with hardcore surveillance lack of privacy okay hardcore brutal policing and they are taking over certain cities Australia is seeing it happen right now okay. you don't want to live there unless people take it back sleepy ways chicho I guess the good thing about investing in Medellin Colombia is that I'm going to be buying cash no bank loans to worry about okay cool but worry about worry about taxes worry about electricity worry about water worry about safety okay worry about the the township or the city that you're in going bankrupt because once they go bankrupt if people start leaving the infrastructure deteriorates and things are cut off for example in Detroit in Detroit let's say this is Detroit there were so many dialect houses abandoned houses that in certain parts of Detroit the city came out and said no more water no more electricity there's people living there right but it's sparse people living there the city couldn't afford to supply maintain those areas with electricity and water so done that whole area is done right people have to move be careful look into the whole infrastructure and economics and politics and whatnot